what is up angels welcome back on another video and for today's video i'll be doing a video uh, that has been requested ever since i did my first one which is a uh, monk bang a monk bang whatever however you say it um today i have wingstop and what i usually get from wingstop is i usually get mango habanero and original hot you guys can't really see it but that's how it is i always get fries and then i always get ranch and i usually get like three ranches but they did not like since i ordered doordash because i doordash this you have to pay and i didn't want, want to pay extra for more ranches so i was like you know what whatever i'll just get one ranch because i have one ranch like in my fridge and then i always get purple powerade but um thing it only had sprite and i know i cannot request it like and ask but i was just like whatever i don't want to do that so i'm just gonna get deal with sprite so what is up you guys if you guys are new to my channel hi my name is angelina and welcome to the angels family if you enjoyed this video hope you subscribe and keep watching my videos because yes i am a teen mom my due date is december 13th and i am only 16. yeah so right now i am pregnant i would show you i just don't want to stand up <laughs> but yeah you can see my like recent like other videos um to see how i look and how my pregnancy has been going because my whole journey is literally on youtube but anyways, let's just get into eating because I am super hungry. I have not eaten since like 11 o'clock or something. But guys, what is up? I have not done like a sit down actually talk like this since my last month been because I do sit downs but not like actually talk, you know? Um, I actually really enjoy, oh my god, seriously, Wingstop Ranch is like the best ranch ever. I don't know if they make it like their own like homemade like not homemade but like their own ranch because if they did I'm gonna buy this ranch forever it's so good but see what I was thinking is okay a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a monk bang on how me and Luis met and I wanted to do that video with him or even in another video because that can be like a story time kind of video but I'm like really thinking about doing it right now. I'm not sure if I should. Should I? Yes, I'm going to do it. No, don't do it. Yes. I think I'm going to do it. I don't know. That was a little weird. What the hell was that? But should I do it? Should I? Should I? Okay, if you guys don't know me, or if you're the first time watching my video and you're like, who's Luis? He's my baby daddy. He is the father of my child. And yes, he is still in the kid's life. That's my boyfriend, the love of my life. So if you have not been watching me or if you guys want to see how he looks or just want to know about him a little bit, you can go down in our recent my recent videos. We have a Q&A, boyfriend and girlfriend tag. We have all that stuff like that. But I guess I'm going to just do a story time and eat of how me and Luis met. Oh my God, this is so exciting because I know you guys have been wanting this um, to be answered for so long. And it's going to be really hard for me to talk and eat wings at the same time. So hopefully I can do it. Okay. So, me and Luis met at science camp in 6th grade, which is a long time ago because we are now juniors in high school. Ah! It's hot. Wow, there's no napkins. It's okay. But yeah, we met at science camp in 6th grade. We went to the science camp called Camp La Mamar, if you've been there. It was like the dopest science camp ever. Like, science camp was literally the best time of my life. Maybe because I met Luis there. I don't know. But to start it off, at science camp, we were in these things called like trail groups. And we were, we didn't go to the same elementary school, but we lived in the same, um, like, we lived in the same city. So, his school went to my some like my science camp and my school went to his science camp which is camp of Lamar. it was just both of our elementary schools so when we go they tell us our cabins and they say like who we're with and who our children are going to be and a guy and a guy's group from the other school has to go with the girls group from my school so my group ended up being paired up with his group and i swear when i first saw him it was like love at first freaking sight I know you guys are like, what are you were really in sixth grade? But I mean, look at where we are now. We're having a baby and we've been together since, well, off and on since sixth grade. Love it for sight, guys. But anyways, so the first day we kind of just met with them and we're like, so 
Sorry, I'm gonna try eating this with my hands. I wanna eat it, like, bite it, but I'm scared that, like, I won't be able to talk. So, I wanted to, like... When I first saw him, I really thought he was really cute. I just thought he was the hottest guy I've ever freaking seen in my entire life. And when I saw him, that's pretty much what I thought. And me and him kind of just clicked really fast. Like, we became friends right away. I was with him the whole time. Um, as the days went by during science camp, we flirted with each other every single day. Like, we literally flirted with each other. And everyone knew because the, the cabin leaders of my group were like, ooh, you and Luis. And, like, they just always teased me about it because they knew me and Luis always flirted with each other. We would ignore everyone else and pretty much just be in our own little, like, little bubble. Because me and him, like, I don't know, I just, my feelings for him grew so fast. And, like, when we were talking, I felt like I knew him, like, I've been knowing him forever. Like, I've been knowing him, like, this wasn't the first time I met him. So, the whole time we were there, we got really close really fast. Like, everything about being there with him just made everything so cool we had a bunch of inside jokes at science camp you have this thing called um like your science camp name and his was dead fred and mine was big red so they kind of went together because ours were like named after the trees that were at the science camp i don't know how he liked me though because at science camp i had bright pink hair i was wearing a teal jacket i had purple jeans i had hello kitty shoes hello kitty glasses like i look like a nut i looked so weird but I guess that was how it is. So like I said, the whole time we flirted the whole science camp. And apparently I was the hottest girl at science camp. That's what every guy at that like went to that school or went to science camp tells like has said. Because a bunch of guys at science camp did ask me out. They did like as like on Valentine's Day, some guy with like some raccoon hat came up with all his friends and asked me the Valentine's and I said no. And they kept asking and they kept asking because I was honestly waiting for Louise to ask me. I was only attracted to Luis there, and so we were together 24/7 pretty much the whole science camp. Every time we were, every time I was a gopher, he was a gopher, and a gopher is like when we went up to like to go get the food, he would be that too, and like we'd go up together and talk and walk. There was this one time, oh yeah, and David, Alexa's boyfriend, went to our science camp too, and David caught us like flirting with each other. Because we were watching these plays that um, everyone did, like every show group did, and like me and him were like across the way from each other, and we were looking at each other, and it was really cold, so we were blowing out smoke, so every time I blew out smoke, he did, every time he did, I did, and we were just doing it back and forth, and like David was like looking at us like, going like, like that, and it was just so funny. So, on Thursday night, we had this thing called the night walk. And it was like when we were pretty much obviously we walk in the night and me and him like we would go in the middle of the forest like the whole group obviously not just me and him we went in the middle of the forest and we sat down and everyone was like since it was dark we were all pretty much like blindfolded and we had a few little thing and me and him started holding hands me and him held hands and stuff like that and then we got up and we started walking we were holding hands my friend Joanna knew because like I kind of told her I was like look at look at look at because she knew I really liked him so, the whole camp, the whole science camp was just pretty much fun for me and Louise. That's how we met. We were together 24-7 the whole science camp. We had a bunch of inside jokes. We were, like, the best freaking of friends, like, from the start. Like, I'm telling you guys, it was, like, love at first sight. Like, I don't know. So, that's pretty much how the story, how our relationship started. The last day of science camp... He asked me out to be his girlfriend, and we're young and dumb, and I just really liked him, so I was like, yeah, like, I'll be your girlfriend, and from then on, he was like, okay, we're together, so that's how we first got together, but I, I don't really count as getting back together, because he has a sleep. When we left, I got really sad, because I did not get any of his information, because the last day was like, really weird with us, like, I don't know what it was, but it was really weird. So I didn't get any of his information or nothing, and, like, when we got back from science camp, I told Joanna, I was like, I don't even know how I'm going to talk to him, like, we're together, but I had none of his information, like, nothing, and she was like, okay, I'll find it, and I was like, alright, like, I don't want to be weird, though, and have her find it, but she was just, like, enforcing it, she's like, I'll find it, I'll find it, I don't care what you say, 
this girl went and found his Gmail or his school Gmail. I was like, how did you even know his last name? She was like, I did a lot of research and I was like, you're hella weird. But she did, she found it and I was like debating for like a week whether to text him and then out of nowhere I got a DM on Instagram and it was him, he texted me. And hold on. Alright okay, guys, I'm one of those people who like leaves the bone clean. Like I will not like I don't like when people leave meat on it, so I eat the tops and like leave it clean. Like I do not And I'm a really slow eater. I did not see I'm barely on my first one, it's already been ten minutes. But it's because I'm talking more than I'm actually eating. So yeah, that's and then he DM'd me and we started talking. We got together and our date was like two twenty seven like twelve, two twenty seven twelve or something like that. And we were together, we talked every day. He lived so close to me, but we never saw each other. Never saw each other. And But we'd always talk every single day. Like He told me everything, like, it was just so crazy. And then we broke up on our one month anniversary. So stupid, but we broke up on our one month anniversary. And from then on, we just been off and on. Um, I seen him. The first time we ever saw each other was like seventh grade since um, the last time seeing each other and it was like seventh grade summer like going into eighth grade and that's when we got back together because i went to his house which was like right up the street from mine and we just never saw each other i have no idea why we just never so i went to go see him he was playing football with all of his friends and like his brothers and stuff like that and me and him when we saw each other we acted like it was like science camp all over again like we went by ourselves we were like on the phone like we were like like on my phone like together like laughing and stuff like that just talking then we started hugging and doing all this stuff. We didn't kiss. We didn't. We didn't even kiss. We didn't do anything. We were just like kind of cuddling next to, but we were outside. Like, and we were like little ass kids too. We were barely going into eighth grade. I don't know what we were doing, but it was just great. Um, And from then on, we just honestly been off and on. I know this story isn't really, like, interesting because, I mean, we just been at science camp. But everything that led up to this, we just have so many memories that me and him talk about that only me and him know. And it's just so crazy. Like, I was with someone else when we broke up. And I still, like... If you're watching this, I'm so sorry for saying this because I did not mean to, but I would hang out with Luis while me and that other guy were together. And I never cheated. I'm not the cheating type. But I, my feelings, every time I saw Luis, I just, they always came back. Like, even if we didn't talk for months and months and months, every time I saw Luis, like, I just, my feelings came back. Like, it's like they never went away. Like, I feel like I, literally, when I saw Luis, it was low at first sight. Like, he is he's made me the happiest girl in the whole entire world like and now we're having a kid like everything about him is just so cool he treats me so good like he takes care of me like he buys me whatever i want i don't like that though because like sometimes i'm like not, well sometimes all the time i'm like no babe like don't buy me anything like it's okay and he gets mad if i say no because he's like no i'm trying to buy it from you like stop and i'm just like no like really it's okay like stop but no he doesn't care and he looks really mean on camera. <laughs> I've watched my videos and I see that. But he is honestly like the night the weirdest, funniest, sweetest guy ever. He just doesn't like being on camera. But I hope you guys kinda got an understanding of how we met because it was kinda confusing. Because I was explaining everything that happened in that time span. But yeah, yes, yeah, so you see, I'm really happy with him. He makes me like the really like the happiest girl in the whole entire world. And I love him so very much. And his family looks Oh, I forgot to tell you. Hold on. The first time, Luis, I was like the first girl his family's ever met. His whole family knows me. His whole I've met his whole family besides the ones he doesn't talk to. But the family that he does talk to, I've met them 
they all love me that's what he says so hopefully they do but i was the first girl that Luis has ever said that he had a girlfriend like i was the first girl like he ever told his family about but when we got back from science camp Luis was like i have a girlfriend i have a girlfriend and his older sister's like who what the hell and crystal which is his sister's name never really like never knew i was the girl until like like i we finally told her like oh i'm the girl from science camp and he was like what the heck so his family's been knowing about me since sixth grade which is kind of crazy because we were so young and now we're juniors going on to be seniors having a kid and their family's like my family and it's just pretty great you know i forgot i have fries This is really good. Sorry guys, I'm like eating really nasty. I have I do not know where the napkins are. Mm. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that story time on how me and Luis met. Guy and I got an understanding. Because that's how we met, that's how the whole thing started. Started at Science Camp. It was great. But anyways, enough about that. My pregnancy, guys, has been going so good. Like, I I seriously love it. This is not even hot. Why is my nose running? Like, this is not hot at all. I love being pregnant. Like, I'm going to do, like, I'm so excited because I'm going to take maternity pictures I'm gonna do belly casting. I'm gonna do all that. I'm just waiting until I get like a little bit bigger because I'm about to pop in like a couple weeks, but I'm just waiting a little longer because I want to be really big when I do it so my whole stomach can kind of be like there, you know what I mean? But I really want to do that. I really want to do belly casting and I want to get like those pretty, like those pretty dresses that, um, that you take when you're pregnant for like maternity photos. I want to order one of those. Because that's what I want to take pictures in. Like, those are just really pretty. And you guys will see those eventually when I take them and I post them. Hopefully, I do that. Hopefully, like, it's all planned out. Like, that I take my paternity photos. Because I really want to do it. I eat wings really nasty, guys. I'm sorry. But I hate, like, when, like, the black part comes out in this part, because I just don't like it. But that's how it is every time I eat it. You know, me and Alexa eat wings, like, exactly the same. Like, me and her are both, like, I feel like me and her are so similar. If you guys don't know who that is, that's my best friend. I feel like me and her are so similar in so ways because we're both Tauruses. If you guys did not know that, we're both Tauruses. And I feel like we just like a lot of the same things. And it's just so weird because me and her are both the same when it comes to... Oh, sorry, guys. To eating, like, wings. Like, my mom is like this, too, so I think I get it from my mom. We leave the bone clean. And my brother's always like, ew, that's nasty. Or Luis is like, ew, that's nasty. But I don't know. It's just it's good to me. Like, I like eating it like that. Halloween is coming up guys. I don't know when I'm gonna post this video But if I post it like on Wednesday or next week because right now it's Friday Halloween is coming up and I'm so excited Um, Me and Luis are gonna be something you guys have to wait and see for that because I am gonna be with him on Halloween So we're gonna take photos. We're gonna post on Instagram. So if you're not following my social media, it's in the description below just you know follow it because i post a lot i'm really active on snapchat um i do message back to a lot of my fans but like if they ask me for advice but like say like i don't mean to be rude about this but like say like you just text me like say i post a picture of myself on snapchat and you guys are like oh my god so pretty i won't respond but i'll open it just so you guys can know that i've seen it and that i like it but i don't respond because it's just, like i don't i, I don't want to say thank you to like a million people you know what i mean but 
if you guys are one of those people who said like I look pretty or like you said something about like where I was or like how I dressed and like that thank you guys I love you guys so much um we're almost at 16,000 like almost so close which is so crazy because I barely started like my channel completely in July and in July I only had 2,000 subscribers which is crazy because I remember when I posted my 16 and pregnant video I literally checked the thing and I had that screenshot somewhere I just don't remember what it's at but my thing says 200 no 2,456 subscribers and like that and it's crazy because now I'm about to be at 16,000 in like three July August September October in three months that is so crazy but yeah sorry you guys are just watching me eat I guess this is what a mukbang is I'm not really messy eating when it comes to wings like with everything else I'm just messy eater in general Luis tells me that all the time that I eat so messy because I always spill it everywhere like I spill it around to my jeans like 10 times already but it's cool oh guys I'm opening my peel box in November it's about to be November and I'm opening it in November and I'm gonna close it in December so it's only gonna be open for a month but maybe that'll give you guys enough because a lot of you guys have been telling me to open a peel box and I've been telling you like I will I will I will but I'm gonna open it in November so in November I will be making a video posting that I will be um, opening my peel box so you guys can send me stuff because I know a lot of you guys have been asking me too And I never had a peel box. I never had no reason to open one, you know? So this is like really exciting. I have to see the process of how it all goes. But hopefully since it's Friday right now, hopefully tomorrow I go and um, get a bunch of stuff for the nursery because I'm getting paid tomorrow. So I'm really excited about that. And did I ever talk about Halloween? Yeah, I did. But I'm really excited about that because I want this big mirror. It's like 50 bucks from Ikea. And it's so pretty. And I want it like, to put like vanity lights around it to make my own DIY vanity mirror. So maybe I'll make a video on that if I get the mirror. But if I don't, then I guess I won't be doing that. But my theme for the room, I don't really have a theme, but I just want a lot of things pink. Like I want my whole room pink. Even if it's different colors of pink, I want it all pink. Because she's a girl, you know? I know pink doesn't have to be for a girl, but I just like the whole pink concept of it. She's gonna be so pretty. I'm just so excited, guys. You guys are too. It's so crazy. It's like you guys are having my baby. <laughs> that doesn't make sense, but if you guys gonna get it, you guys gonna get it, you know? yeah you guys a lot a lot of you guys are confused about how i'm already eight months and it's barely october and i'm due december 13th but being pregnant it's technically for um 10 months because 40 weeks is 10 months this is what the doctor told me so if i'm wrong this is what my doctor said that being pregnant you're actually pregnant for 10 months because 40 weeks is actually 10 months which is the whole pregnant thing thing so once you're 40 weeks you have reached 10 months of your pregnancy they just say nine months i have no idea why i guess it's stuck for that long but yeah so if you guys think about it this is the end of october which i'm i barely turned eight months on wednesday it's friday so the end of october i'm eight months which means the end of november i'm gonna be nine months which and i'm giving birth the beginning of december so i'm gonna be like nine and a half months honestly so it's not bad But since it's Friday, I might uh, hopefully I'm doing my weekend vlog so you guys will see a new video on Monday. So I know you guys love watching my vlogs. But I think this is like I think I'm gonna end it right here because it's already at 24 minutes. I only ate like three wings, which really sucks because I thought I'd eat more, but it's hard to eat wings and talk at the same time. But she like this. I hope you guys enjoyed the story time of me and Luis, how we met, and a bunch of just the other stuff that I've been talking about in this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, give it a thumbs up. 
my hands are dirty so I can't really <laughs> give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and thank you guys for watching and if you guys are new to my channel hope you guys enjoyed this video too and bye angels stay tuned for my next video on Monday